Hey everybody, welcome back. Day 23 of Whiskey Advent 2023. Pretty neat. Okay, so. Day, let's see, what did I reveal last? I think I revealed 22 last. So we're all caught up on the reveal. I don't even need to start with that today. But according to Frosty, there's three days left until Christmas. So really what I'm doing is how many samples I have left. Three samples left. One, 24, and 25. All right. <clears throat> this one, I was blown away by this whiskey. Immediately, I got some hefty sweet peat. And it's absolutely fantastic. It really is. Uh, as soon as I smelled this, I said, oh, that smells like Ardbeg. So I am going to just say Ardbeg on this one. I don't think it's right because I'm not 100% certain, but boy, does it smell like an Ardbeg. And uh, proofy is all get out. This thing is, is hot, 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 like a hot potato. All right. Sweet peat. It was very smoky, but very sweet all at the same time. It was absolutely a fantastic nose the uh the palate on this absolutely delicious just dirty dingy malty with that kick of you know earthy peat with the smoke behind it and then lots of sweetness right off the bat lots of lemon muffin with uh my very first sip of this got i got a very heavy like cherry sauce so like think of a lemon muffin just drizzled with this fresh cherry black cherry reduction just delectable after a little bit of water it changed a little bit the peat was still super strong and then i started picking up some of those like drywall mud notes and you know just that kind of, um, I don't know what to really call that. I, I, I do, I always call it drywall mud and it's a smell, but you know how you can taste something and a smell is associated with it. Like I wouldn't eat drywall mud. I don't know what that tastes like, but by the smell of it, I can kind of get an idea of what it would taste like. And although tasting it probably wouldn't be all that great, it does taste pretty darn delicious in a whiskey. This thing is just fantastic. Uh, whatever this is, I, I need to find a bottle of this. This was, this was impressive. So I am definitely going single malt on this. There is no doubt about that in my mind. It is a peated single malt and it is peated heavily. Proofy as can be, uh, I wrote down 56 to 59. That's got to be close, but it might be a little low. This thing is, this thing is hot. And I did write down sherry because I got some of those like uh, dark fruit notes, the cherries and, and such. But after some water and stuff, those all went away. And I'm not so certain it's sherry anymore. So, um, yeah, a couple things. I'm going to find a bottle of this once I figure out what it is. And uh, two, officially, I'm going to say it's a single malt, heated single malt, 56 to 59%. And I know I wrote down sherry, but I'm going to take that away. I, I don't think there's any sherry in here anymore. Yeah, I don't think so. And I, I mean, if this isn't Ardbeg, somebody's doing a good job smoking like Ardbeg because this has got a real similar smoke to Ardbeg, if it is not Ardbeg. Oh, it, it seriously reminds me of the, um, <laughs> the only Ardbeg special release that I've purchased because it sounded interesting, whereas the other ones have kind of sounded like Money Grab, uh, was the Hypernova. The Hypernova, to me, gave me some serious farmy notes and that drywall mud tenfold. So... It kind of reminds me of that. It, it's not that. It's, it's way too punchy for that. But 
along those same lines. So that's that's immediately why my mind went to Ardbeg. The smoke is very, very similar. That, you know, that wonderful sweet barbecue smoke. And then that drywall mud and earthiness. Yeah, it just, it just screams Ardbeg to me for some reason. So whatever the question is, Ardbeg's always the answer, right? Thank you, everybody. Cheers to this American spirit.